Hello again and welcome to another set of tutorials by tutorialhouse.co.nz uh, In this tutorial set we're going to create uh, the classic game Breakout um, Fairly simple to un implement and um, and yeah it's, it's a fun game so we'll get cracking straight into it um, Just in part one of this set we're going to uh, paint the uh, paddle that the user is going to use to hit the ball back. Um, we're going to paint that onto the screen and we're going to just get it moving as well. So if we start up Microsoft Visual C Sharp 2010 Express and um, create a new Windows application, uh, call it Breakout or whatever, whatever you fancy and uh, we'll get straight into it. So if we click on our form uh, we want to set up some uh, new events so it's basically just going to be our paint event so we can paint something onto the form and we're also going to want to have a uh, mouse move event which is going to be used to move the paddle around with our mouse on the x-axis um, also if we go back into our properties for our form we also just want to uh, enable double buffering which is already enabled here so we want to set that to true. Right, um, to get into the programming, so uh, since we've done that we want to set up our paddle so we'll add a class and we'll just call it paddle.cs cool. and we want to bring in a new library which is going to be our drawing library so it's using system.drawing cool and we'll make this public class paddle and we're just going to create some variables so it will be uh, private int x, y, width and height um, we also want to create um, so for this uh, for the for the bricks and, and paddles and things like that I'm going to use uh, images that are created earlier so this is going to be the images are going to be added um, into the source code at tutorialhouse.co.nz um, under each under each tutorial. So um, I've simply just created a paddle like this in Microsoft Expression um, Design Two, and I've just saved it to the C drive. So um, it's pretty easy. Now we want to add this want to add this into our uh, into an image class so we'll type in a private image and we'll call it paddle image and we'll leave it at that and we'll also have a private rectangle this will be for our paddle and we'll just call this rec paddle well our paddle rec cool um, and also we want to make the rec, the paddle rec um, a property so uh, we can access it in our form 1 um, class so quickly just type in public rectangle capital P paddle rec and we'll just um, get type in get return the verbal paddle rick. Cool, so that's basically so we can access it in um, form one. Now we want to create a constructor for this class, so public paddle and so basically we're going to uh, just give these variables values so the x can be 0 uh, the y can be so we want this paddle to be at the bottom of the form so the form's 300 in the y axis so if we make this uh, 240, 250 somewhere around there it would be close enough uh, we want to make the width about 60 because that's what it was on the image and uh, we'll say height can be 7 cool 
Now we want to uh, give our, we'll bring our image into our class. So we will put paddle image is equal to image dot, and it comes up with a few methods here. Uh, you can have from hbit map from stream. We'll we'll just go from file. Uh, it's easiest. So in quotation marks we'll put C. Well, this is where mine saved. C drive um, and paddle dot png. Easy. Now, uh, lastly, in this constructor we want to. Uh, take our variable paddle rec and make it into a new rectangle and we simply just put down our x, y width and height height as well right cool and uh, the constructor is done pretty much sweet now uh, we're only going to make two more um, methods here public void draw paddle and the other one's move paddle. So uh, we're going to add the graphics class in, uh, give it a name paper, and all we're going to put is paper dot draw image, feed it the image, which is paddle image, and paddle rec for the rectangle. And that's um, that's draw paddle done. And lastly, paddle oh, public void um, move paddle. And we'll just give this an uh, an parameter of uh, int x, uh, mouse x. So we'll feed that um, in form one dot cs. We'll we'll give it the the position of uh, mouse, of where the mouse is um, on the form, and all we're going to do here is put in uh, paddle rec uh, dot x is equal to mouse x, and that's pretty much it. So for the paddle class, if we come back to form one dot cs. Uh, as always we want to create graphics class and paper and we also want to bring in the paddle class itself so paddle is equal to paddle is equal to new paddle and paper in the form one paint is equal to e dot graphics cool and paddle dot draw paddle and we'll put on paper and if we run this left hand side there's the paddle cool so it's brought the image in drawn it onto the form easy uh, no movement yet however so we come down to mouse move um, event and we will call our other method paddle dot move paddle and we will give it uh, e dot X, which is the position of the mouse on the form. So if we call that and then call this dot invalidate, invalidate, to make sure that the paint method is drawing uh, it correctly. And there we go, just moving around, not flickering, it's good. Uh, one problem, however, though, is that we need the mouse to be in the middle of the paddle, so it's no good having it. Um, on the left hand side because the paddle disappears so uh, just finally in paddle.cs we need to add um, in move paddle for the int x we need to minus the uh, mouse x by the paddle rec dot width divided by 2 so this should give us the middle of the of the paddle so if we just run this f5 and voila, there you go. So now our mouse is in the middle of the paddle and it's good. So that's all we're going to do for this first tutorial. Um, in the next tutorial we'll get the ball moving so it's bouncing off the edges and off the paddle and things like that. So cool. Uh, I hope you enjoyed.